Hey, I'm Ma Dixie. And I'm A. Sandy. And I'm Granny. Welcome. But I wanted to treat you my daddy taught me and Jeremy, you just don't go out here and kill stuff. If you kill it, you gotta clean it and eat it. And that's what I was teaching him. And now that he knows, and I know he likes it, I'll start taking him squirrel hunting all the time. But will you cut him up for me? Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, like the other three deer I did this year already. So they love squirrel and rabbit, but there ain't many rabbits around anymore. There's too many wild animals getting them. Too many cats and coyotes and stuff. There ain't many rabbits around, but there's plenty of squirrel. How many squirrel did you guys end up cooking that night for dinner? I fried them five squirrels. I got one little old leg and it got two little legs, and Andrew and Will eat the rest of it in a whole pot of squirrel gravy. It was good. It was real good. Did you grow up eating squirrel? Yeah. 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 But there's like a the... trick to cooking wild meat, and there's a trick to cooking rabbit and squirrel. You have got to boil it slow, but you've got to simmer it, and you can't let it cook till it comes off the bone. You just gotta let it simmer it gets tender, then take it out and then bathe it and fry it. And it's real tender like chicken. And that's what squirrel tastes like, the dark part of a chicken. The dark meat. Like the chicken leg is the dark meat on a chicken. That's the way squirrel tastes. Now we always uh, salt on ours overnight. We yeah, sat in the cold salt water. Wash them and cut them up and salt that them. Grains all that stuff out of them. Yeah. So you grew up eating squirrel too? Oh yeah, and then I fried it when they was little, but I hadn't fried any in years. What else did you grow up eating? What other kind of animals did you guys usually cook? I don't remember ever mom ever cooking the deer because we did we didn't see they deer back deer when I was little. We fish, they did fish. We had fish and chicken. And we raised pigs, we had pork, and they'd buy beef and uh, rabbits. We raised our rabbits. We didn't like for daddy to kill them after we got them up to pretty good size, but we always raised rabbits. Me and Wallace raised rabbits when the kids was little. But then when daddy got it going fishing, he brought everything home. He bought groundhog and uh, bear and everything in mom tell mama cook it but well, i didn't eat that you didn't eat the bear no we like to claim it's we just eat roadkill <laughs> <laughs> whatever you see lying on the road what smushed too bad <laughs> pick it up pull it, pull it. <laughs> did you ever eat possum no papa always would talk about going possum hunting but i realized when i got older it was a joke yeah he didn't <laughs> he did everything else over, but uh, he was a pest, I tell you. <laughs> he, mama he, broke her toe one day of breaking green beans. He pissed her mama to death. She, she'd go to hang up clothes, and he'd done eat all the clothes, clothes pins. He was always in something, but Hard was never in none of nothing. He was always quiet and easy going and he was like the camels, but now Leon was like daddy. He's into everything. Okay, we're having squirrel for supper tonight. So I've got it all washed and cleaned out, and I'm getting ready to put it in a pot and let it simmer for about an hour and a half. And once it simmers for an hour and a half, I'm gonna take it out and let it drain and cool real good and then I'll braise it and put it in some buttermilk for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to bathe it in flour with a few spices and then we're going to fry it and then we'll have uh, I'm going to make some squirrel gravy with it so I'm sure I, you guys didn't want to see the squirrels killed and cleaned so they're already washed and cleaned and ready to start cooking so this is what it looks like for right now 
Okay, I put my squirrel in the pot, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it start to come to a boil, and then I'm going to turn it down on simmer for about an hour and a half. You don't want to boil these to where the meat will start falling off. You just want them tender. If you don't boil them before you fry them, then you're, they're going to be like really, really tough. So you want to boil them and let them get good and tender, and then take them out and cool before you fry them. Okay, my squirrel is done, so I have divided it. This is what I'm going to fry, and I've got it soaking in buttermilk, and I'm going to bathe it in. I mix some flour and a half a teaspoon of onion salt, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, a little bit of maybe a half a teaspoon of pepper, and just a dash of salt because the other had salt in it, and I mix that up good. And that's what I'll bathe it in, and I'm going to fry it here. I've got this aside. Now, this is the bag, so it don't have a lot of meat on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the meat off of this, and this is what I'm going to make my gravy with. So I'll make my gravy with this, and then I'm going to fry this because I don't want my gravy to taste like onion and garlic. So this will be in this crock pot, and then I'll do this on a skillet and make biscuits, and then we'll be ready to eat, eat supper. Okay, I've got my backbones ready, so I'm going to shred my meat off of it, and I've got a skillet, and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of just regular vegetable oil, Crisco oil, in my skillet, and then I'm going to add my meat in it, and let it simmer in it so I can get the flavors of the squirrel into the grease. Once I've let that cook for, oh, maybe five, ten minutes, Cooking on low, you don't want to burn it or get your squirrel too hot and crispy. Then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of just regular white lily self-rising flour. And I'll stir that in and let it simmer and brown for a little bit. And then I'll just pour me in some um, milk and you just make your gravy just like you do regular white gravy. And this is what you call squirrel gravy, and it's really, really good. This is my legs are fine, and they're almost ready to start turning, I think. Won't be long. They'll be ready to start. They're just starting to get brown. So these are my squirrel legs. And as soon as everything gets done, I'll get back with you. Mimo makes the best squirrels. Okay, boys, what's it taste like? A squirrel. Is it good? Yeah. What's it taste like, Andrew? It tastes like, it tastes like chicken. to have a clothesline on the front porch. It went from pole to pole to pole to pole, and all beyond it would be little teeny white bloomers from us five granddaughters, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. She'd have them hanging all around the front porch. would be little bloomers. Because in the summer, she would come and get, she'd go get Candy and Sissy, and Debbie would come over and be me and Cindy. And she'd have all five of us in the summer when she mama yeah. keep us when we was little, little bitty. And Norma get Atkins. Oh, Norma, whoop Norma used to whoop mom, us. Mom went later. She wore me out that old hair brush she had in her bed, and that thing's that wide. It's bigger than my butt was. She and then my and my, my mom would get all over for whooping me. She'd, and then on Saturday she'd stick them rollers in her hair and set us in that chair, but the hair to her on her head. Yeah, Saturdays was head washing day for church on Sunday. Well, it was when I was growing up. Yeah. Bath day and, and uh, head washing in a washing tub mm -hmm. in the kitchen. 
Mom had a little old thing you could put in your tub and plug it up. It's electric, and it would heat her heat our water. But you dare put your hand in there, and it plugged up. It'd knock you across the room. Mm -hmm. and that's the way we got our bass and got our. And Blanche was bringing Candy and Sissy home from Florida, and they'd tell everybody on the bus they was riding the bus, and they said, "Oh, we're so excited! We're going to Tennessee, where you take a bath in the." In a dish pan. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they don't think about that now living down there in Florida. <laughs>